Good morning, everyone, and happy morning. What a lovely surprise to wake up to the rain that waters the earth, especially as I was watering yesterday thinking, oh my goodness, we need some rain because the ground is starting to crack and flowers are going, water, we need water. So it's a good thing that we're having some rain today. And of course, once again, when I wake up and it's raining, um, the Spirit speaks to me about what I have planned for today and uh, says, I have something else in mind for you. And isn't that the way the Lord works? Uh, when we make a plan, God says, yeah, okay, go ahead. But there may be something else going on that you need to talk about tomorrow morning. So um, <clears throat> I wanted to start the day just with a, just with a, a, a moment of silence um, because right now I'm hearing a little bit of thunder and I'm hearing the rain on the roof. So just take a minute of silence uh, and then I want to read a scripture from Isaiah. So let us pray. From Isaiah 41. I will open rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Long ago at a women's retreat, I remember we were doing a study and I discovered that the Hebrew words for, for um, well, the water in a well, and the water in a spring are two completely different words in Hebrew. The water in the well, the still water, um, is less preferable than the spring water because the spring water is always renewing itself. The well water is like humans have tried to capture the water of the spring and keep it in one place. And so that sense of um, intervention by humanity for their convenience is less preferable than the spring that God provides of water continuing to bubble up and continuing to uh, to feed our souls and to feed our spirits. So here's another passage from a little bit further out in Isaiah. This is in the 43rd chapter at the, at the 19th verse. I am about to do a new thing. Uh, make I'm sorry. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, so that they may declare my praise. I hope that you have been getting a sense as we've done these morning devotions for lo these many months now. Um, one of the things that's coming through to me very, very clearly is, I mean, we're, we know that we are to center our lives in God and center our, our uh, activities and our choices and stuff in our faithfulness and in our relationship with God. But oftentimes in my life, I know especially when we're busy and distracted and, and all of that kind of stuff, it's, it's hard to remember. And you kind of wonder why it's so hard for us to remember to just relax and breathe and let us be rooted in the one who created us and who delights in us. And, and just let all that stuff go. Let all let the main thing be the main thing, as Roger always says, and and just remember, it, you know that we're doing you're doing that to yourself. We're doing that to ourselves when we when we let things weigh heavily on our mind and change our paths and change our moods when we really have so very little to worry about. Um, don't worry today has enough. Don't worry about tomorrow. Today has enough for you to deal with. Um, so I thought about 
thought about that this morning as I was waking up because I've been hearing much more now in news coverage about people who are falling into depression and, um, you know, really having difficulty coping with being sort of removed from their normal social circles. And I, I feel it as well. You know, I know there are times when I feel the burden of the responsibility and, and um, you know, so I'm not saying that you can make them go away. But when you sit and think, you know, it's like, I, I can just take this and hand it off to someone else and say, you take care of that. <laughs> I don't need to, I don't want to take care of that anymore. You take care of that. So, uh, and Jesus is just standing there saying, you know, my yoke is easy. Just come unto me, bring me your burdens, you know, drop them off. It's okay. So maybe today as the, as the little rains come down this morning, before the heat comes this afternoon, they can remember that that rain is like the baptismal washing of the uh, not only f t washing away our sins and the effect of our sins, but um, washing away the worries and the stresses and the all the things that keep us turned in on ourselves and keep us from turning towards God and just living in that grace that God showers on us day after day. So here's my morning. I have a new book this morning. It's a new old book. Another book, it's called The Circle of Life, uh, again, by um, um, Macrino Viedercare, who's one of my favorites. But then this one was done in conjunction with Joyce Rupp, who is also a, a woman religious, and the two of them have written a number of things. So we'll be moving back and forth. Don't worry, those of you who are Anthony DeMello fans will continue to work in that and in uh, the other books I've been using. But this one seemed particularly appropriate this morning. Rain this morning, all morning long, well into the afternoon. July rain, slow, steady drops of water, holy water, interspersed with many storms, streams of lightning, darting passionately into the weary soil. The humid June heat fly, flies. I breathe more easily. I smile. Sometimes my thoughts, like August heat, hang heavy and smothering, creating an oppressive, unfriendly climate. Then suddenly, some Holy Spirit falling as rain upon my desolate land descends like a blessing. Some sweet spirit, full of hope, washes away the heaviness lightening up those hostile thoughts till they are filled, filled with loving kindness falling on those around me like a rain of grace. A rain of grace. There is a phrase for you to carry through your day. A rain of grace. A rain of blessings. A rain of washing us clean. I hope you have a lovely day. Enjoy this morning rain because I believe it will turn into an afternoon heat and humidity. So for right now, watch the rain, listen to the rain, sit outside in the rain if you can, or go and run through a puddle. Rain of blessing. My blessings on you today. Join with the blessings of God, and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow with what I was going to do today, tomorrow. I'm all ready. Not ready to go. So I will see you soon. Have a great day.